How are you feeling right now? You know, we're humbled by this, but this is not about us at this point. This is about the voters of the third district. They have worked hard for this. They have said resoundingly that they want someone else to be able to represent them in Washington, D.C., and they want an agenda that works for them. They want to be able to know that inflation is going to come down, that gas prices are going to get back to normal, that Americans can have an independent energy plan, and most importantly, that we're going to fight for Americans first versus looking the entire world over the southern border as them being a priority. I think we have said that repeatedly. Most importantly, we have done it. We are a team of action. We have a legislative record that you can look to that's been decisive. And equally important, you know what, we are ready to start the fight. This race went from being a, hey, no chance in hell are you ever going to be able to beat an incumbent in Iowa to being a 50-50 toss-up. And just tonight, it's been declared a lean R based on this win. So we feel energized, but we are grateful because this race is really a reflection of the third district and how best we serve uh, far more than it is about us. You also research, uh I refer to your team as kind of the underdogs at this point. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, how do you kind of structure your campaign at this point as an underdog? Yeah. So, you know what, tonight we're going to celebrate, we're going to tell people great work, we're going to thank the voter, and tomorrow we recognize we're going to face the full force of the National Democratic Party who's going to try and destroy us before we even get an opportunity to take off. So I equate this a lot like a military mission, right? We have clear goals on where we need to be to be able to be successful on November 8th, and that starts with day one building a team of allies. We're going to get out there, we're going to work hard with folks who have been supportive of us. We're going to work with the other primary um, candidates as well because they have great teams. Most importantly, we're going to get out there and we're going to talk to Democrats, we're going to talk to Republicans, we're going to talk to moderates, to libertarians, conservatives, because what is important here is that we change the course of this country. And that's bigger than either party at this point. We have got to be able to win by bringing in a large coalition that says, what we do well here in Iowa, we could do in Washington, D.C. And I'd like to take a little bit of the heartland straight to the Capitol and start changing how we do things. How do you represent those voters who are supporters of Sidney Axney? Let's say you win, right? How do you, how do you represent them? Yeah, it's a great question. It's something that we have been doing for the last eight years. I've represented blue districts as a Republican for a while. And I think they have an important voice to be said in what type of policies matter. But equally, I think we just need to be clear with the American public that we have principles on where we stand. And when they know where we are, they're more likely to come on board. Because here's the thing, cutting inflation is not a Republican or Democrat issue. Every Iowan wants that. Being able to put affordable food on the table for your kids, for your family, being able to take care of seniors in your homes, these are things that everybody in Iowa works for. So here's my commitment. There's 70% of things that Republicans, Democrats, moderates, independents all want. Let's focus on getting those things done and then actually delivering. Not talking about it, not giving speeches. Let's do what my track record has proven. When you say you're going to do something, execute, commit, and deliver. Can you talk about the numbers? Uh, it, it's overwhelming in, in many ways how much support you've gotten here at this point. 70%-ish. I don't look yeah. at the numbers you know, right to the second. But that's kind of where we were at a little while ago. What does that tell you? Well, well, first off, we're very humbled by it. Second, it tells me that Iowans in the third district are ready for somebody who can be a leader on this. It's a, been a great three-way primary. I think that you know being able to go into a primary means you are prepared for the full aspect of a campaign operation. But to be able to win by, to, yeah, to your point, 70%, I think is a very clear mandate that we now need to start working on being Cindy Axney. We are the best person to be able to take on not just her, but a very liberal progressive wing of the Democratic Party led by Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden who have given up largely on middle America. And they want the best person who can go out there and deliver, not for me, but for the entire state of Iowa. This third district has spoken resoundingly. We're ready to go fight for them.